everybody, Angela from the T-Squad family. Boy, oh boy, I have been frustrated with this problem I've been having with my refrigerator. It has a special code that is blinking and beeping ever since we got back from Michigan to Charlotte. And that blinking is, I believe that is an OPL1. So after looking in the book that I have that came with my manual for the refrigerator, I looked for OPL1 uh, and I came across that one right there, which is the high temperature limit switch is open. Well, I followed directions. This is not owner serviceable. See your dealer or authorized Norcold server service center. Really? I've called Norcold, I've called multiple places and nobody could tell me anything about what that is. Finally, I actually reached out to a friend of mine and he said that, he asked me, did you have any bad weather, uh, rain, storms, and something like that? Yes, I have. On the way back from Michigan, we got struck with a huge storm. I mean, you couldn't even see five feet in front of you. As we're driving, we do drive with our uh, refrigerator on propane, uh, obviously, uh, to keep it cold because we have a lot of food in there to go to the next location so we don't have to turn it back on and take the food out or go shopping. So we keep it on on propane. If you have not subscribed, please do so by hitting that subscribe button. Whew. I gotta get this air conditioner on, on high. It is 96 degrees outside. Go a step further, hit that bell and you will get notified for videos like this and videos like this. Not videos, videos. So that being said, I did call a local RV mechanic place and they said the exact same thing. I will not give the name on who I called. And they also said if it trips again after doing this procedure, then something else is wrong. One thing that you will need is a battery that he asked if I had was a magnet. I do have it. Right here. What we are going to do with this magnet, we are gonna go outside, we are gonna take the cover off of the refrigerator. I'm gonna show you what he told me to do. And like I said, I am in no way a mechanic, a RV technician, or any kind of Norcold representative. Please do this at your own risk. We are not responsible. So that is the disclaimer that I have to put on this channel. Uh, so do this at your own risk. Oh yeah, okay. So when I got out of my truck, it said 99 degrees on weather.com. It says uh, feels like 105, so this is lovely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this cover and there it is. Okay, so I am. this is the first time I'm doing this. So don't, don't think I've done this and I've tripped this whatsoever. I don't even know how you would be able to trip it. So they do say that it has to be beeping, so I just ran back in there and make sure it was still beeping. It is beeping, so I did take this cover off. And what you'll notice is, I'm gonna flip this camera around. So we're looking at here is be careful, all these wires is live, so just don't stick your start sticking your fingers everywhere because we do have a 50 amp coming here. But we're looking at the high temperature limit switch. And if you notice that the left side has this big old square thing on the left, and then when you start looking to the right, You'll see that red dot right around the corner there. Yep, there it is. And wow, it is red. And I think we found our problem. If it's not red, then that means it's something, it's something else. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna take this magnet like he told me to, and I'm going to push it in a certain position. You're gonna hear two clicks. That's what he said. One click, second click, it's gonna go quick. If it clicks twice and then the red light goes off, the refrigerator should be on, we're gonna go check it. If it clicks twice and it trips again, then that is not your problem. It is not, it's re, it's clicking for a reason. It's doing its job. So that is when I will move to step two and call somebody. All right, so here's the magnet. I'm gonna go further out here. Here's the magnet, okay? So I'm gonna try to reach in there somehow. Okay, here it goes. Oh golly, it's hard to get in there. Okay, we'll go this way. Is it this way? Oh, this way? Okay, let's try one magnet. All right, so I got one magnet. Let's see if that works. I'm gonna put it in this position. Now you're gonna hear two clicks, he said. 
Okay. I don't hear anything. There. I did it. I heard it. I think I did. Yeah, the light's off. Yeah, that light's off. All right, so let's hurry up and get in there. By the way, we are at Charlotte Motor Speedway, heading to Atlanta Motor Speedway tomorrow. Okay. All right, does it work? Oh, it worked. Oh, it worked. No more. It's on auto electric AC. We'll let it sit there for a second. I just want to check it out. I actually, I want to shut it off. No, I'm not going to touch it. It's fine right now. It has been 10 minutes and it has not tripped yet. I will not release this video for a couple days just in case it does trip again. I'm not releasing this video. I'll continue this video with the what else I'm going to do from that step. But if, if this video ends with, hey, thank you for watching, that means it worked. This is two, three days later or maybe later after that, that I did this, so. The lights are on. I hear it, it's working. Yes. Very nice. Obviously the freezer will be the first to, to get cold. I feel it. It is working. Look at that. They give me the biggest bird to hold. Guys, I just wanna say thanks for watching and I wanna say thank you for those who actually walked me through step-by-step step to do this. I told them I wasn't gonna do this because I wanted to record it and help everybody else out on YouTube or my subscribers that's going through the Norcold problem that I just went through. And uh, if you are, follow these steps. It's very simple, it'll save you a lot of money. And I wanna thank you for the guy who I was speaking with on the phone who was like, no reason for me to come out. Do this, it'll work. So just remember, it is the LI right there op the high temperature limit switch is open and that's it right there uh, i do want to remind you that if it clicks again if it beeps again my bad if it beeps again and it keeps doing it i would stop what you're doing trying to reset everything and go call a service technician because you probably have to find out why it is tripping so in my scenario was it rained so hard uh, we actually uh, came back and it started doing it. So I had no idea why. And that's that's why I called around and I got some uh, some advice and uh, it worked. Hey everybody, thanks for following. Thanks for subscribing. And give me a thumbs up if you, uh, if you like this video. And if you have any comments, put them in this comment section below. And I'd be sure to read almost every comment. And, uh, and please check our other videos out. We do have RV how-tos and also our RV vlogs. But... Uh, Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.